Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is David Milan. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I take my longer YouTube videos and turn them into smaller bite-sized pieces of content, which I share on Twitter. And I'll be showing you how I add subtitles the method that I'll be showing you is completely free. I know there are paid options out there, but I prefer to do it this way because it is a free option. So I'll be showing you an app which I've come across which can help to speed up the process. Again, it is a free option. And by the end of watching this video, you will be able to produce something like this. Para, uh, for those of you who aren't aware, it stands for Projects, Areas, Resources and Archives. So it's really changed how I get things done and I found it super useful to, to keep track of all the different things that I'm listening to or watching or reading. And it's really helping me uh, to, to keep track of things and, and find them when I need to. I find that Para is really helping me on my journey to becoming a, a fully fledged member of the intelligentsia. And that's really what it's all about. So let's get straight into it. So let's get straight into it. This is a video project in Final Cut Pro that I made a few months ago. I put together a video on how to prepare for job interviews using Notion. And I'll include a link to that video and also to my Notion playlist in which I go through how I use Notion to do different things, so different use cases. If you're not interested in using Notion, that's completely fine. The how to prepare for a job interview video will still have some stuff in there that can help you to get better at job interviews. So first thing you wanna do is to come up here and right click on the project itself and click on duplicate project as. So a few months ago, there was an update to Final Cut Pro in which they introduced a square video format so you can turn your videos into square videos for Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. I have had a few issues using that so I have been using the custom option so I'll come in here click on custom and then put in the resolution as 1080 by 1080 and I will leave the frame rate as 25p there and what I'll do is I'll give it a different name and call it square Twitter video and then click on OK and so you'll now see that uh, Final Cut Pro has taken my original project and turned it into a square project. And so you can see that by double clicking on the project here and you'll see that there are two black lines, one at the top and one at the bottom, and it is a square video. So the original video, if I come back to that there and I just press spacebar. Welcome back to the channel. My name is David Milan and I'm an HR professional working in Australia. Today I wanted to show you how you So that's the original video and now if I come to the square video version and do the same thing. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is David Milan and I'm an HR professional working. So you can see the difference. Obviously you can see there that the my Twitter handle that comes up is in the wrong position and so I will show you how to fix that later if that ends up being the part of the video that I want to keep. So in terms of what part of your video you want to keep, ideally you want to put together something that will kind of get people's interest and draw them into watching the overall video, to watching the whole video. So when you post this short clip on Twitter, you include a link to your YouTube video. So that if people like the original video, that short 30 second or 45 second clip, they can click on the YouTube video or they can click on the link and go to the video and watch the full video. So if I was thinking about this video, um, having a look through it, I think that the introduction would probably actually make a good short clip. So I'll just watch that one again. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is David Milan and I'm an HR professional working in Australia. Today I wanted to show you how you can use Notion to get better at job interviews. Over the course of my career as an HR professional, I've interviewed hundreds of people and some people do really well at interviews and other people, they struggle. And I'm hoping that this video will help those of you who struggle with job interviews. I'm hoping that it will help you to get better and feel more confident so that when you're going for a job, you can present your best self in the interview. For those of you who do well at interviews, you might learn something from this as well. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think that first 30 seconds would be a good introduction video that I could share on Twitter. And then if people were more interested, they could click on the link and watch the full video. So in order to cut it down to just that section, if you hit Command A, that will select the whole project. And then you have two options. You can use the blade tool by pressing B and turning it into a blade or you can come to the section that you have stopped the playhead at and then uh, click on Command B. And then you'll see it has now cut everything after where that, that playhead is because you, you're not gonna need that. So what I'll then do is if I hit Shift Z, it will open, uh, it will take the view back so I can see the whole project. And I'm just going to select everything here 
that I don't need. And I'll just zoom in again just to make sure that I've captured everything. I just missed a sound bite here. And then I will uh, tap on delete. And I'm gonna get rid of this title because obviously for this short form video, I'm not gonna need a title for a piece of content that isn't coming up. So we'll just delete that there and I'll delete the sound effect that I had as well. So now we have a 30 second clip that we can start to prepare to put on Twitter and add subtitles to. So let's just have a look at this. I'll just make sure. Okay, so you can see the Twitter handle that's coming up uh, in my videos. I like to put my Twitter handle on there because I have very few followers and I am trying to increase my numbers. Uh, so if you do want to follow me, have a look at the link in the description or don't, it's completely up to you. So let's figure out how we can change this. So you can see that it's cutting off part of the text. So what we need to do is to fix that up by going here to position and we're going to drag that over a bit like that. And then we will move it uh, to be in a better section of the overall video I'm coming over here and moving it down like so. And so let's have another look now and see how that's looking. My name is David Malone and I'm an HR professional. Okay. So there we go. So now that we've got that sorted, the first thing that we need to do is to add an overall title. So if you come up here to titles and we're going to grab the solid element in here, I'm going to add the custom title and I'm going to put that here and you'll see now that we have a, a black solid box covering the whole video obviously that is no bueno we don't want that and so we're going to use the crop tool to just bring it down to where we need it to be so if I come here and I will click on uh, top or bottom actually and I'm going to just drag that up like so and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color. I like to try and keep my colors reasonably consistent. So I have a few colors in here that I like to use all the time. I'm going to pick this navy color here. And now I can just make sure that it lines up with where I need it to be. So let's just put it there. So now we have the solid blue bar across the top. And what I will do is just drag that across the whole project so that that blue bar will be across the whole project. What we'll do now is add a title for the video so that when people are watching it, you can use the title of the video that you are directing them to go to. So if we come up here to titles and then we click on basic title and then just drag that in over the top. Okay, so now we have the title. Let's change that and we will change this title to be how to prepare for a job interview. Obviously that's in the wrong position, so we're going to come down here, come over here to positioning and click and drag on Y and put it up there. So it's now the title. I like to use one consistent font wherever I can. So the font that I like to use is Futura. So I will just change that over and then I might just make that a little bit bigger and then adjust the positioning again, just to make sure it's in the center. So now we have a title for the video, which I will click and drag across the whole project because as you can see here, Over the course of my career, as an it disappears because it's not going across the whole of the project. So we'll click and drag that across like so. So now we have the title. What we need to do next is to add a white solid shape at the bottom so that we can put our subtitle text over the top of that. So again, you come in here to solids and then uh, click on whites and we'll put that down here and you'll see there is now a white solid bar across the bottom and we'll make sure to drag that across the whole of the project. Next thing we need to do is start on our subtitles. This is the part of the process that is perhaps a little bit cumbersome but it is free. There are other paid methods out there but for such a short video, it's pretty easy to do and I've found a way that I can speed it up as well. So what you wanna do is if I grab my iPhone here, uh, I recently came across a great app called Otter. It was on David Perel's website. I'll include a link to the article and David Perel was talking about how sometimes if you are stuck with writing to use Otter, which is a transcribing app, and you'll, you can talk into the phone and it will record what you are saying and then you can polish it and refine it later. So what I'll do is I'll open the Otter app and then I will put it really close to my speaker like so and then tap on record and play the video. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is David Milan and I'm an HR professional in Australia. So 
Today I wanted to show you how you can use Notion to get better at job interviews. Over the course of my career as an HR professional, I've interviewed hundreds of people and some people do really well at interviews and other people, they struggle. And I'm hoping that this video will help those of you who struggle with job interviews. I'm hoping that it will help you to get better and feel more confident so that when you're going for a job, you can present your best self in the interview. For those of you who do well at interviews, you might learn something from this as well. Okay. So there you go, that is how you capture, I might stop that actually because it's gonna get a bit annoying. So that's how you capture the text. And once you've done that, you can just airdrop it to your map. So you'll see now it has opened. And so now I have the text, which will be really helpful for when I'm making the subtitles. So in order to make subtitles, what you wanna do is come back to titles again at the top and add a basic title over the top of your project. So you'll see that the text is in the middle there. Obviously we don't want it there. Let's go in and change the color. So I, first I'll change the font to make it Futura. And then if I come down here to face, I will choose, uh, let's go with the same color as the top, but just in reverse. So now you can see I've got the text there. And what I'll do is I will change the positioning and I'll bring it down to the bottom here. Okay, so now that I have that title, what I wanna do is take the text that I used Otter to transcribe and paste it according to where my audio is and where, where I'm talking. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My, my name is David Milan. Okay, so I think that's a good place to stop. So I will grab that first part of text from the Otter transcript paste it in here. You'll see it's going across the whole of the video. We obviously don't want that. So I'll just go here. And I will also spell my name correctly because that would be embarrassing if I didn't spell my name correctly. And I might just change this around a little bit and make the cut here. So let's have a look at how that's looking. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is David Milan. And I might get okay, so that's pretty good. So then we will shorten this and I might just zoom in a little bit here. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is David Milan. Okay, so that's pretty good. I might just change the positioning just a little bit because I wanna move that text down just so it's dead in the center. So that's an example of how you use the Otter text to make the first subtitle. I'll do one more just so you can get the idea and then I'll go through and add them all So and I'll speed it up so that you can see what the finished product looks like. So if I hold down option and click and drag, that will copy that subtitle there. And so if I go here, My name is David I probably need to just adjust that a little bit. So I'm gonna grab in this line and I'm an HR professional working in Australia. So then if I click here, I come back up to the text, add that in. And I'm an HR professional working in Australia. So let's have a look how this looks now. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is David Milan and I'm an HR professional working in Australia. Okay, so then I'll just make that a little bit shorter. So you'll see what you need to do is go back and forth between your transcribed text and your titles and make sure that what you are saying aligns to the text on the screen. So what I'll do now is I'll go through and I'll add them all and then I'll come back and show you the finished product. Okay, so now I have gone through and added all of the subtitles. I just wanted to have a run through and watch it again, just to make sure that everything is making sense. It is a really good idea to watch your subtitle video again, just to make sure that you haven't made the cuts and the changes too quickly. A good way to do it is to rewatch the video and put your computer on mute so that you are just watching the text and making sure that it is lined up correctly. But I'll watch this one now with the audio on. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is David. Today I wanted to show you how you can use Notion to get better at job interviews. Over the course of my career as an HR professional, I've interviewed hundreds of people and some people do really well at interviews and other people, they struggle. And I'm hoping that this video will help those of you who struggle with job interviews. I'm hoping that it will help you to get better and feel Okay, so there's a bit of an error there, so I'm just gonna add a word in. I'm hoping that it will help you to get better. So let's have a look at that. I'm hoping that it will help you to get better and feel more confident so that when you're going for a job, you can present your best self in the interview. For those of you who do well at interviews, you might learn something from this as well. 
Okay, so there we go. That is all pretty good. I'm happy with that. There are a few minor sections where I, the text is maybe just a little bit ahead of my audio, my voice, but uh, as we all know, perfect is the enemy of good and I think that is pretty close and that's something that I'd be happy to put out. The next thing to do is to get the video ready to share on Twitter. So if I come up here and click on the, this button here and then click on master file. So if I go into settings, you'll see that it is set on computer and also set on better quality. So normally when you are exporting a video from Final Cut Pro, it would be set on video and audio and it would be set on H.264, which will export it as a .mov file. For uploading to Twitter, you want it to be in an MP4 file. So in order to do that, you would change format to computer and change the video codec to better quality and then click on next and it will get your video ready to share. So I'll just save it here, square Twitter video, click on save and then it will export the video and then it's ready to upload to Twitter and you can post it with your YouTube video link and encourage people to have a look at your full video. So that is my process. That's how I take a long video and turn it into a short video with subtitles in a completely free way. I hope that that has been useful for you. If you have enjoyed this video, have a look at some of the other content that I've put together where I cover Notion and other things that might help you with your career. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and I will see you in the next video.